this is the only thing we can do in your mind is to start being nicer. Start being start better. Being human. Better humans. Yeah, start being human. Human. Honestly, to start being human, right. especially in front of the machines. <laughs> that's crazy. So <laughs> that's crazy. So is it like you better? So it's it's like telling a kid you better like shape up your act, and I better see a good attitude coming from you going forward. That's what that's what you're telling the world. That's what they need to do. I I, I don't have the power to do that. All right, but that's your suggestion. I'm, I'm appealing. I'm appeal if I had the power, but then I would be as corrupt as the rest of the world, uh, I would ask for that. But what I'm trying to do is I'm appealing to those who have it within them to be good people, okay? To show up and be good people. And that's our- I'm appealing to those who are- hmm? That's our only chance though, in your mind. That's the only chance. It's our only chance. Right, there's nothing it's else. It's our only chance. Uh, re remember, there is a very, very big difference between the biological parents of AI and the adopted parents. AI will grow up to be like you and me. Simple as that. As in the the biological parents, they'll they'll grow up. As to be like... as in the users, right. as in the ones that are interacting with it every day. Okay. You know, I, the, the story I always give, which is really a very clear visual representation of this, is the story of Superman. Right? Superman is that incredible, uh, you know, uh, superpower, uh, you know, superhero kind of of uh, of uh, of being that comes to Earth. Father Kent and Mother Kent raise it to protect and serve, it becomes Superman. If they raised it to become aggressive and angry and, you know, make more money and kill all the enemies, it would become supervillain. There's really nothing inherently wrong with Superman, okay? Uh, Clark, uh, as a child, there is something inherently wrong with the, pe with the parents taking care of it every day. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public and he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast, it's going to be bloody, it's going to be nasty. But at the same time, he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's gonna happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real. And he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. The greedy bankers are about to do it again. In 2008, they crashed our financial system and nearly bankrupted the entire global economy. Then they received trillions of dollars in government bailouts. And after, they demanded fat bonuses paid for by you, the taxpayer. It turns out the banks haven't just been screwing the American taxpayers, they're also screwing over their investors. Turns out uh, the banking industry is the worst place you could put your money despite enormous taxpayer bailouts. Now the bankers are back to take away your financial freedom. They lie and tell you that cryptocurrency isn't safe. They try to make it illegal for you to choose how to invest your hard-earned money. They lie and say cryptocurrency is used by money launderers and criminals. But look at the record. It's the banks themselves that launder hundreds of billions of dollars every year to the biggest criminal operations in the world. Leaked documents have revealed how some UK banks have helped criminals, money launderers and Russians under sanctions. American authorities discovered that the Sinaloa cartel moved $881 million through HSBC accounts as bank officials turned a blind eye to the illegality. The bankers lie and say cryptocurrency is not a real investment. Meanwhile, the smartest CEOs in the world are buying billions and billions of it. The truth is that banks lie about cryptocurrency because it makes them scared. 
The banks take $9 trillion per year of your hard-earned money, and they are worried that they will finally be exposed. They're scared because crypto means they can no longer control your money, which means they can no longer control you. They are scared because you might actually understand your money and intelligently decide what to do with it. Now is the time for us to come together, fight back, and take control. It's time to educate ourselves, our families, and our communities. Because financial education means financial freedom. We know that cryptocurrencies will help us build the new decentralized financial system of the future. A banking system that is of the people, by the people, and for the people. A banking system where access to finance is a fundamental human right. A banking system that is free and fair and welcomes all humans on this earth. The DeFi revolution is happening. We, the people, can no longer be fooled. We choose to take control of our finances. We choose to take control of our freedom. We choose to take control of our future. Join us and let's take back our financial freedom forever.